It's a hidden gem in Kirkwood. It's affordable and right on Route 11. Paul Bernardini takes us on a tour. The Century 21 Sabara Real Estate Showcase starts now. Hey, Paul, how are you doing today? Good, how are you doing today? Good, where are we? We are at 1097 Route 11 here in Kirkwood, um, Windsor School District. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a three bedroom, one and a half bath um, house. Got a lot of property, a couple buildings out back. There's a um, workshop, a big garage. So yeah, just a nice property. here. Great property, good good location where it is, and you could do a lot here. I mean, if you had an in-home business of some kind yeah. or whatever, it would be great. Yeah. I, I, I notice things like it's got a lot of the features of, of older, like the chestnut woodwork is, is not um, painted, and it's got these great hardwood floors, and I love those French doors into that room. Yeah, it's great. It's really cool, isn't it? Absolutely. And I, it appears that there's a couple of replacement windows, some? Yep, they got some replacement windows throughout the house, yep. This was updated at some point, wasn't it? Yep, it's got updated a while back. Um, yeah, it's not huge, but the layout, it's a great layout, a lot of cabinet space, and yeah, it's, it's nice. a functional. Nice it's functional not, kitchen there. It's very nicely done. I like this whole deal too, because you got kind of a, you got your coat rack right there for the kids. Right. Is that a half bath? Yep, you got the half bath right there. You got the little tile entryway, so throw your shoes and stuff like that. And yeah, it's a great, great layout. These buildings out back are, are worth gold to somebody, aren't they? Right. Now, when you mentioned a w workshop, as long as we're here, I want to ask you that. Is there um, uh, electricity and heat out there? There's electricity out there. It's mm -hmm. not heated, but you could there's heat electricity yeah. out there. Okay, and then the garage yeah. looks like it's bigger than a two car. Right, it's a we are oversized two car garage. So yeah, it's a it's a real good sized garage as well. So if somebody's got toys, or somebody likes to work on their bikes, their cars, their whatever, you know. That's perfect for somebody to pound steel, something like that. Yep. You know, the forgers. Now, how big is the lot? Uh, <clears throat> it's about 0.7 acres, so it's okay. a it's a good sized lot. It goes well beyond the uh, buildings back there. Okay. So. Good. Now, what's upstairs? Upstairs, we got three bedrooms and a full bath up there. And then there's a cedar closet up there in the hallway as well. You know, Paul, it's deceiving. I mean, you've got this, it, there's more in the house than you imagine looking at it. Because it looks like a little Cape Cod in the street, and yet it's got a lot of space. Right, a lot of space up here. And then, I love the trim, the woodwork. Yeah, great woodwork around the whole house here. And up here, they've updated a lot as well. The bathroom they updated since they bought the house. Mm -hmm. um, it's a big, big bathroom. Um, a lot of space in there. Um, the bedrooms are pretty good sized bedrooms there. So, yeah, it's a great... Great house. For, oh, yeah. 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 You got a lot yeah. of closets? Yep. So this closet here to the <laughs> your left is the cedar closet there. So mm -hmm. it's got a nice cedar closet there as well. All right. So uh, we're at 1097? 1097 Route 11 in Route Kirkwood. 11 in Kirkwood. If they want to see it? Yep. If they want to see it, give me a call. Um, you can call me on my cell, 341-3851, or at the office, 757-2100. And what's it on for? Well, actually, it was 154.5. Now it's down to 149.5. Oh, good. So, yeah, great price. So... A lot so of house for that price, yeah. Sounds like they want to get moving. Yep, they're ready to go, ready to sell. And also, Tom, it's important to mention there is central air here as well. So oh, nice really? and cool here in the summer. That, yeah, and this summer you need it. Don't Absolutely. You? <laughs> Give Paul a call to have take you out to see it. And, uh, and if you're looking for something in the country with a nice, convenient road access to town and you like outbuildings and you like working around and stuff in your own place, this is a, this is a truly little gold mine. I like it, it out here. It is a great place. Thanks a lot, great Paul, for bringing us out. Thanks a lot. Your yard. It deserves your best. It deserves a little TLC from TLC Landscaping. We're a full-service landscaping and lawn maintenance company serving Broome and Tioga counties for over 23 years. TLC is also your source for Oneonta block retaining systems. Beautifully designed, their interlocking strength provides years of enjoyment. No job is too big or too small. We do it all. Give your yard what hundreds already have. A little TLC from TLC Landscaping. I grew up in the Southern Tier. I went to school here, attended SUNY Broome and Binghamton University, and later Syracuse University. The Southern Tier is my home, and I've practiced law here for over 30 years. In 1995, I started my own firm and limited its practice to representing buyers, sellers, and lenders in real estate transactions. I want to help you make a home here just as I have, or to help you relocate. If you are buying or selling a house or commercial property, call one of my offices convenient to you and put my team on your side. 
The Sabara family of companies welcomes Ed Kwan to the team at Southern Tier Mortgage Company. Ed brings over 20 years of experience as a mortgage originator and an extensive and successful background in the banking and financial industry. For your next residential or commercial mortgage or refinance, you can rely on Ed Kwan and the team at Southern Tier Mortgage Company to manage your mortgage application and pre-qualification both thoroughly and accurately. Visit us at stmc.us or call anytime at 607-231-7862. Good morning, Bev. How are you? Good morning, Tom. Wonderful. Nice summer day here. Isn't it gorgeous, finally, huh? Yes. I think this is one of those charming hidden gems. We're out on Colesville Road. Mm -hmm. So we're like, I don't know, four minutes into 81 or 17. The industrial parks in Conklin and Kirkwood, mm -hmm. perfect location. Maybe that's 10 miles at the most away from here. And this is a 1940 Cape on an acre of land. Ooh, that is very nice. So the acre of land, you can move in here, start, and as your needs expand, blow out the back of the house and do it as big as you want, and you're fine. Yeah. Well, I'm noticing features like the hardwood is hardwood floors, classic 40s, you know. Yeah, the arch, arch, rounded uh, arches. Right, right. What is really nice <clears throat> is roof. Replacement windows, well, and probably the heat and the electric have all been done, plus insulation, mm -hmm. in the last four to five years. Nice. Wow. The septic was original, and it's being 100% replaced. Wow. New system. Okay. So when a person moves in here on closing day, they will have everything functioning. And all mm. your big, expensive, expensive things won't be a problem. They'll be done. Yeah. yeah. And we chose not to paint because everybody likes to personalize sure. it. Sure. And so they can go through and paint it any color they want. Carpets have been pulled. So these hardwood mm -hmm. floors probably have not been walked on. Right, ever? In years. Yes. Yeah. They're just beautiful. you got a nice size garage, a beautiful deck outside. And there's a, a naturally stained uh, a barn. barn out back, yeah. little barn. Little barn. And, and the property in back is gorgeous. It's, it's absolutely Great beautiful. Great big deck. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, I, you know, I was thinking about this. You could probably buy this mortgage taxes and all, um, an FHA loan maybe or something. FHA or USDA. Or USDA. Yeah. Out and, here. and this would be less expensive than renting a five-room apartment somewhere. Yes, exactly. And look at the size of the living room and there's a formal dining room and, and the kitchen is nice and, and um, I mean, you know, there might be some things to change around, right. but everything and the closed back porch, there's just a lot here. The closed back porch is heated too. So I would move the laundry, which is in the kitchen, out to the back porch. Okay. And it can also go in the basement like it was. Right. It was right. just brought up for convenience. There's just a few little things to tweak here and it would be a lovely home. Is it, is it fair to say that they're mostly like cosmetic stuff? It is. Yeah, just decorating. It's cosmetic. And, and, you know, you might want to you might want to do some things, you know, um, uh, to update it. But you could literally move right. in tomorrow and live here. Exactly. The kitchen functions. The bathroom is functional. It's decent. Yeah. You know, it's just dated. Yeah, it's dated. Yeah. But you've got your <laughs> ceiling fans going, so they work. Mm -hmm. It's kind of country, so you have a nice breeze. Yeah. It's not really hot as it is in no, town. No. So it's Windsor Schools. Mm -hmm. Um. And it's just something somebody could move in and be happy. Here's the shocker. How much is it? Asking price right now is eighty-seven five. Wow. Yes. Oh, see, that's amazing. And the taxes, I think, are less than three thousand or thereabouts. They're very low. It's wonderful. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. You're yeah. thinking <laughs> eight, eight nine hundred dollars. And you've month. got a house. And you can borrow all of it or as much of it as mm -hmm. you need. And right. Wow, this is really great. Right. All right, so what do they do to see it, Ben? They should call me directly, 607-725-7645, or the office, 757-2100, extension 119. It's really easy to get in here and show. Well, very good. Give Bev a call. This, is, this truly is like a, a great house for 
somebody who doesn't have a large number of people or a starter or mm -hmm. a single, lives alone, whatever, uh, it's a great home. And it's big enough to expand in. Yes. Like you said, you add on the back. Yeah. Very good. Give them a call. I don't think this will be in the market very long. I don't think yeah. so. Not the way the market uh, is right uh, now. Yeah, and, and, and the road is a good, uh, pay, a maintained road. I mean, it's, it's maintained. It's you're not yeah. right on no, the you're road. Set back. You've got some setback. It's nicely yeah. landscaped. Very That's good. a great little house. Thanks, Bill, for showing Thank you. Us. Thanks. Thirty-seven seventeen Gates Road in Vestal, a three-bedroom, one and a half bath, two-car garage, two-story, two hundred nineteen thousand nine hundred. See this on Sunday from one thirty to two thirty with Teresa Blanchett. New listing, three fifty-six Jones Road in Vestal, a four-bedroom, one bath, one-car garage, ranch, one hundred forty-seven thousand five hundred. Join us on Sunday from noon to one with Teresa Blanchett. Ev, I, I'm only going to say this and then I'm going to let you walk us through the place, but this house strikes me as the house that everybody is looking for in the Binghamton area. Exactly. Yeah. It's Whenever <clears throat> I have a ranch, yeah. I get the people who come to the open houses, oh, I want a newer kitchen, I want this, I want that. This has it all. Yeah, this, I mean, this house feels to me like it's a it's a mid-century vintage structurally. Yes. Did you say it was fine copper? Yes, it is. I'm and, pretty sure. And yet everything in it's been updated. The bathrooms, everything is perfect. Even the wiring. Even the wiring, it's the whole place. Wow. Just amazing. So here we have the maple cabinets. Mm, they're beautiful. And the walnut floors. We have oak hardwood floors in the other rooms, except for the foyer, which is tile. And that's very well done. Um, the living room is carpeted, but underneath that, it is all. Um, it is like one of those things, the detail in this house amazes me. Right here, <coughs> this, is, this is usually just the blank, right. nothing. And there's little spaces here to put your spices. Wow. And on this side is canned goods. Um, just to the side of you is the dishwasher that most people won't even notice oh, because, yeah, look at that. you know, they put the cover on it. Your bathrooms are solid tile, none of the plastic tub units mm -hmm. and like that. It is one of those, you don't even have to dust to walk in here. It is no. so clean. So, so clean. It, it's interesting because I, uh, the other thing I'm noticing, which we don't see a lot around here is it's all in in white tones which makes the house yes. bright and airy and and it just feels perfect I perfect mean, anybody can walk in here and do whatever they want because it'll yes. go with the house yes you bring your belongings <clears throat> and you show off your items yeah because i mean just the beautiful china hutch sure. there you know People are getting away from formal dining rooms. Exactly, and this this space is great. And this is lovely. Yeah, it, and, lovely. And, um, well, I might I might add that it's big enough too. If you really felt it, that living room is enormous, and you, you could, could have a both. formal dining. Yes. But but why bother? Right, you, you know? could definitely have a nice seating area and a formal well, it, larger table. And you could have a dining table right in front of the fireplace. You could. Now the fireplace has not been used for a few years, so that we're doing as is. But well, we'll put a gas one in. Yes, so I'm they'll sure. put a gas one yeah. in and keep it keep it toasty. Um, for <clears> those <throat> and so many buyers go out and check all the tax rolls and everything. It shows a one car garage. I personally measured the door. It's 15 feet. You can get two cars in there. Right. You have first floor laundry, with sliding custom cabinets. Oh, that's great. It just disappears. You don't yeah. have to see it. It is three bedrooms. Third bedroom has cherry cabinets as an office or a mm -hmm. studio for somebody. Um, most of the windows have been replaced. The living room they did not, but all the other windows have been replaced. The roof is months old, like this spring. Wow. So it's just wonderful. It's not stepless. I think you have one or two steps up. Yeah, so but it's stepless enough. It's, it's stepless <laughs> enough. It's yeah. easy. Um, it's just, everybody should come and see this, if for no other reason to get ideas, because this is all custom done.
by a local right. family-owned company here right. that would love to show off what they've done here. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Downstairs has never been finished. So there's not the old knotty pine or the paneled walls and like that. It is painted floor, walls, spotless, dry, um, central air conditioning, gas force hot air furnace. Now, our stove is electric. But there is gas in the house, okay. so if somebody wanted to Preference. flip that, they could do that so easily. A very nice feature, Tom, also is the backyard is flat. It's gorgeous. It's got a covered patio. And if you're familiar with Hillcrest, that hill over there on the other side of the river, in it's off Upper Front Street, is the most beautiful hill for sunsets. Yeah, I bet. And so you can sit out here and enjoy that. And the hot air balloons when they come in August might just well, land in your yard. <clears throat> You've got a really fine neighborhood here. It always has mm -hmm. been. And, and this particular house, I mean, you, you, you know, you mentioned the, the um, uh, covered uh, porch. That easily could be, become a three season room. Oh, yes. Um, I mean, you know, a, a couple of big sliding glass doors would take care of that. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that you've got, you've got a one of a kind here in the, it, it, it mixes all the finest features. It's built really, really well. The hardwood in the rest of the house is, is a prime grade A uh, oak. You can't even buy it anymore. No, no and, you can't. And the, the finish on the woodwork is all stained, sealed. It's, it, you know, that kind of late 50s quality. And yeah, like I said in the beginning, and like you've been remark remarking, the kitchen is brand new. This kitchen would have to be 40, 50 grand. I exactly. Think. Yes. Or you more. Know, or more. Or more. The yeah. bathrooms are all in nice shape. I mean, so so you would go find this house. You find similar layouts of houses in the Binghamton area, but as you said, they were all they're all pretty well dated. Yeah, they're dated, so, and the quality is just not and, and, what and, we have. And here. if you've got somebody looking that's thinking they should size down, this house is absolutely ideal. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. It's one one floor living. Yeah. Yeah. And and I it, tell us what the price is. Two forty-five. Yeah, no, yeah, you you couldn't you couldn't touch this. No. To to even you couldn't you couldn't get one that needed all the work and do it for that. That's no, my point. You can't. Yeah. How do they see it? Call me directly 607-725-7645 or the office 607-757-2100 extension one one nine and I will get right back to you. It's very easy to show. And I I forgot one thing. The other thing that people that are looking as we just discussed about is their property taxes and what are these around five thousand between five and fifty five hundred it's very oh, yeah. low see that would be very very low yeah that would be so most of the people that are sizing down in this town that we've seen they're coming out of monsters that are mm -hmm. twelve and fifteen thousand dollars in taxes and this is like ideal right and that's without any exemptions too right right so that's yeah. a great property mm -hmm. two car garage and all well, very good. Well, give Bev a call, please. And I wouldn't wait too long on this. It's only been on the market a few days, and, and there's already been a showing, and there's more showings to come. Yes. So get out here to see it. If you've been looking to size down, this is the place you want to be at. Thanks, Bev. Thank you. Andrea, good morning. Good afternoon. morning. I love this neighborhood. I, I grew up with a whole bunch of kids that lived down in here. In fact, the owner of this house has a brother that I know. So this is, these, world. these are great houses. I, yeah, I just, great yeah. little area, West Endicott yeah. over here. So tell us about it. So we are at 620 June Street mm -hmm. in Endicott. Um, this is an EJ house. Um, so it was built in the 20s. Mm -hmm. Endicott Johnson was building all those houses for, for their, their employees, workers. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a, a great house. It's been super well maintained. Um, the original floors They're throughout. Beautiful. Yeah, the pine in the middle and the oak around the edges because everyone had their, their area rugs. Look at the, so. pa the pattern is really neat. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. And upstairs is all pine and that's all original as well. So okay, good. And it looks like chestnut? Possibly. I think it is chestnut. I think it, it is because it is the original yeah. woodwork. So. Yeah, it's, it's the vintage floor. Okay, so. Yeah, great little it, piece gonna, of history. It's going to be uh, pretty much that layout oh, yeah. you know, with a formal dining room here. Look at the size of this one. Yeah. It's great. It's got great flow from the front door all mm -hmm. the way in, and then you got the living and dining and kitchen downstairs, and three bedrooms upstairs. This is very nice. I like the window seat with the built-ins. Yeah, with the built-ins for storage. So 
that's, that's a nice. Uh, the owner has updated the windows, so good insulation on, on everything else. All upstairs mm -hmm. is all updated, and they've also installed central air. So nice. nice and cool here in the summer. Um, but I've been here when she didn't have that on on a hot day, and she opens both windows and the doors, and you get such a nice breeze through here because okay. the shade out front. Somebody's got a nice garden going there. Oh, yeah, lots of gardens out back. Um, bit of a green thumb, so she's got a lot of flower gardens and all around the, the side of the yard, too. Look at all those. Those are tomatoes with the steaks, aren't they? I think they are out are there. Are the red ones yours are too early? Because I just see early. a couple. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, and then your kitchen. Yeah, this is the this is the classic traditional layout. Great houses, oh, yeah. great great houses for people getting started and building. And honestly, I know families that lived in them their entire lives. Oh yeah, great yeah. little kitchen. Okay. You know the one the one other feature that I'm noticing that is unusual is that big double car garage with yeah, extra space on it. Yeah, super oversized garage. Um, she's it's a two car garage. She said she's actually fit three cars in there. Well, she sure. needed two, um, but tons of space out there. And there's electric and gas out there. And there's oh. also an air compressor. So great for the family mechanic. Well, yeah. I mean, because of the extra size of it. Yeah. You could actually create a workshop on the one side and oh, absolutely. separate it if you felt like it. Be great okay. for that. Now, what's upstairs? Upstairs, we have three bedrooms uh, and one bath. Okay. And they're all the, you said they're all the wood floors? Yep. And? UE schools. UE schools, right. Super close to everything. Mm -hmm. so we're right here in West Endicott. So park up the, up the... Yeah, you can walk to the West Endicott Park. Yeah, yeah. Um, really quick to get to anything. You can get to, over to Main Street in just a couple minutes mm -hmm. and over to Nanticoke. So nice center, okay. central location, but it's a nice quiet street where you don't get a lot of through traffic so tell me the price it is listed at 96.5 we okay. priced it to sell that's good yeah, um if they want to see it andrew what do they do if they want to see it they should give me a call uh 607-222-9126 and i'm andrea if you're andrea happy to show it. bertholet will show this to you call her get in to see it quick these go these are very this one's going to go liked, fast well liked houses yeah. and this is a great neighborhood absolutely thanks for showing it to us andrew thanks tom Thirty-seven seventeen Gates Road in Vestal, a three-bedroom, one and a half bath, two-car garage, two-story, two hundred nineteen thousand nine hundred. See this on Sunday from one thirty to two thirty with Teresa Blanchett. New listing, three fifty-six Jones Road in Vestal, a four-bedroom, one bath, one-car garage, ranch, one hundred forty-seven thousand five hundred. Join us on Sunday from noon to one with Teresa Blanchett.